Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about subscription in ERP Next. So let's first understand what exactly is subscription. Now subscription offers a periodic use of a service or a product. So what happens is customer, they, they will pay a recurring amount at a regular interval for accessing a product or service for which they have subscribed for. Now let me explain this to you with the help of example. So let's say that you have a monthly subscription to certain magazine. So what happens is each month you have to pay, then only you'll get that particular magazine. All right. So as long as you are paying, you are eligible to get the particular product or service that you have subscribed for. So that's how a subscription works. That was a very basic example. And uh, that's, that's pretty much like the way each and every subscription works. So nowadays subscription is everywhere. I'm sure each and every one of you might have used one or the other subscription plan in your life. So let's take a look at some of the examples. One is Netflix, which is the most common and most common net like subscription example. Next we got Spotify. And then we also got EdTech. So let's say you, I'll give you an example of Skillshare. So what happens is on Skillshare, if you pay certain amount for on a monthly basis or let's say on a yearly basis, so as long as you are paying, you have the access to all the resources and all the content they got on their site. So next is hosting services, so SiteGround, DreamHost, all these other hosting services, they usually follow the same model, subscription model. And newspaper magazine, we just saw this example. Next is for software as a service, they also use subscription. And we also got telecommunication service, which makes use of a subscription model. All right, so that was all about subscription. Now, first thing is whenever we go ahead and we see that, okay, I want to buy some subscription. What is there? We have a subscription plan. All right. So we will see a brief about what subscription plan includes. Now, these are the two plans that I got. One is this one is from Spotify. They have this different plans and this one is from Netflix. They got this four different plans. So if you see all of these plans, like there is certain thing which is common in almost each and every plans here we got price like they got price here all of them are having different price and they also have the like the the period for which the subscription is gonna last like this one's for 12 month this one's for one month like for one month you have paying 165 similarly for this one Netflix we got the monthly price is 199 here there is 499 so from this, we can conclude that subscription plan for subscription plan. The important thing is the price and it, the important thing is setting the interval or the period for how long the subscription will last. Like how, how are you going to charge like the billing interval? All right. So these two are the most important thing that is price and the billing interval. All right. Now billing interval, it can be now that was the example that I gave you was the monthly one. Now it can also be a daily billing interval like each and every day the invoice will be generated. Next one is weekly. Basically what happens is in like every week there will be an invoice. Now yearly will also have a yearly invoice. So we'll understand this when we will we will create a new subscription at that time. So let's see how subscription plan works in ERP next. All right. So subscription comes under the accounting module. Now in order to create a subscription or subscription plan, you need to make sure that your the role is accounts user or account manager. All right. So I'll go and I'll go into the subscription plan and I'll click on add subscription plan. So here if you see they have item. So basically what happens in ARP Nexus subscription plan, each and every subscription plan is linked to an item. So also you see that item field is mandatory. Basically without item, you cannot create a subscription plan. So make sure to keep this in mind that any plan that you are creating, it is linked with an item. Next thing is a subscription price. So here we will specify how are we going to price it off. Next thing over here, we got the billing interval. Like how, how do we want the invoice to be generated? Will it be on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, yearly basis, all that. So here I gave you this was all about subscription plan like it stores the information about the item it stores the information about the price and it stores the information about the billing interval all right so next I got this yearly and monthly and daily subscription which I'll create one by one and we'll see 
how it will work all right so let's create this first yearly subscription and here if you see the price is 939 and it is for 12 months basically it is for one year so let's go ahead and create it all right now since i told you that each subscription plan is linked with an item all right so i have already created a spotify premium as an item and if you see i have selected the like item as a service over here like the item group is service so i'll select spotify premium and i'll say i'll add the name of the plan as spotify premium yearly okay since it is a yearly subscription now here i'll select subscription price based on fixed rate we'll come to this two other one like based on price list and monthly rate i'll discuss them in some time first let's discuss let's see how this fixed rate one will work so i'll select the fixed rate option and i'll add the cost as 939 which they have over here and next thing is i'll select the billing interval i'll say billing interval as a year so like for for the entire year the subscription cost will be how much will be 939 and here I've selected billing interval count so if you select let's say the billing interval count is 2 so what will happen is every two years one sales invoice will be generated so in order to avoid confusion best thing is to always keep this amount keep this number interval as one only okay so what happens is each year one invoice will be generated and then here you can add the payment information like if you have a PayPal if you have a razor pay if you want to like make an online payment if you want your customers to make an on online payment then you can use this one so I'll save it off so we have created a this particular subscription that is a yearly subscription now please make sure that this video is going to be about subscription plans only I'll be making another video which will cover the subscriptions regarding like all the subscription plan that we will create I'll be creating a subscriptions for them okay so that you understand it better so this was one subscription now let's go ahead and create another subscription this is the monthly subscription over here so I will go ahead and I'll create let's say let's create this two this mobile and this basic one all right so I'll go and click on add subscription plan I'll select item so I've already added Netflix also and I'll say that Netflix so let's say I'm creating this one okay the 199 one so I'll select 199 now here in the previous um, subscription plan I used the fixed rate option now in this one I'll use the monthly rate option alright so I'll select monthly rate as 199 okay and again billing interval make sure that the billing interval is month so what happens is in every month this will be the every month this invoice will be generated like with this particular cost okay and I'll save it off so this was one subscription plan that we created now similar way if you want that you want to create a subscription plan for this particular like amount 499 so I'll go ahead and I'll create a subscription plan for that so let's select Netflix again and I'll say Netflix I'll say 499 okay again the subscription plan plan will be based on monthly rate and the cost I will say 499 and the billing interval will be month so each month a sales invoice will be generated and I'll save it so this was the subscription plan that we created all right so the monthly one is done next I'll go ahead and create a daily subscription based on daily plan so we know that we like I'm sure like some some other time you might have used this daily pack for like we get one GB data for one day right so similar something similar to that I'll be creating so I'll go and I'll select item as Airtel daily pack okay and I'll add a plan name as Airtel so here I'll be selecting the option as based on price list so based on price list actually means that whatever the amount of I have added over here like this one in this if I go so if you see there is an item price okay and if I go to this item price I have added the item price is 25 all right so whatever the amount whatever the price of the item is there that will be added 
that will be considered when the invoice will be generated and I'll say the billing interval will be day and billing interval count as one so what will happen is the the subscription the way the subscription will work is like each day whatever amount is there like 25 rupees right so 25 rupees will be charged for this subscription on a daily basis all right now this was all about the subscription plans in ERP next so like I created this um, how many plans I created I created four plans right so in another video I'll be explaining to you how you can use this plans to create a subscription for a customers like how a customers can use this plans all the plans that you created how they can use and how a sales invoice will be generated from them so I hope this video was clear and I hope there was no confusion thank you so much for watching